Now then, welcome to another video here on George's Minecraft channel. Uh, if you recall last uh, video, we built this nice inn. And we're all nice and finished. Uh, so I just sort of want to expand on, on this town. Um, start building some more stuff. We've got a little river here. So I'm kind of thinking maybe we'll put some docks on. Uh, but what I want to build today is a blacksmith. It were a very important part of the town in medieval times. I only want to build a little one, uh, just to see what we can come up with. But I want it sort of near the river, because that's where the supplies are going to come in, like his, his uh, iron and his coal, and the various different things you need for a blacksmith. So we're just going to start out uh, with some spruce logs and some stone. I don't want to make it mostly out of stone, because that's I'm just going to give it that more of a blacksmith kind of feel and it's going to help uh, give the town a bit of continuity seeing as we used the spruce uh, logs up on the pub there on the inn so I'm just going to bring this out a little bit uh, just so we have a little bit more space to build on I do really like this kind of slow slope up the hill I think that's going to give the town a really nice feel but as I normally do, I'm just going to start out by sort of planning the framework, uh, giving it the base of how this blacksmith's going to be. As I say, it's not going to be a massive one, it's just going to be a small little blacksmith. I'm going to do both the exterior and interior in this video, because it's not as big as the inn was. So I've got a cow right in the way of where I want to place this block. So uh, it's gone now. There we go. I'm just going to push this back a little bit as well, just so I've got a little bit of room around the edge of the blacksmith, and try not to mess it up too much. Now, looking at this kind of hill, um, I do want to terraform this a little bit, push this a little bit back, but I'll do that an another time. I'm going to focus on this blacksmith in this video. So like I say, I'm sticking mostly with stone. Let's just fill in the floor here really quickly. This is going to be his little kind of workshop area. This is where he's going to do most of his smithing. And what we want is a little forge here. So I'm just going to finish in the frame at the bottom of this building here. I'm going to do a nice little L shape, I think. Just so it's a bit more interesting than a big square. Maybe even here we might have kind of an archway going from the back to his, his little smithing area. Kind of at the back of the building, we're going to have a little supply depot, maybe somewhere where he can bring in his supplies. So that's the kind of shape I'm going to go for. Again, at the back, I'm going to have a little sort of storage area here. So I'm just going to fill that in like this. And we have got an underground lake here. So yeah, do that really quickly. Get some stairs so you can get up at the back. And do the same here. It's kind of annoying that we've got an underground little river there, but it shouldn't be too much of a problem. So I'm just going to build all these so the three blocks high and do the stone as well. Like I say, I'm keeping most of the building stone. So that's that. I've got it up to three blocks high now in the wall at the back there. Now we're going to bring in the logs. I'm going to put them on the corners here. And on the upstairs is where he's going to live. So in medieval times, a lot of shopkeepers, a lot of uh, like blacksmiths and whatever shop it may be, a lot of them did actually live above above the shop, above the business. So we're just going to bring these out here. Again, these overhangs look really good for this kind of style. I did them on the inn as well. Uh, they're probably going to be a feature on most of the buildings that I'm going to build. I am going to remove these later, but I'm just going to put them there just so we have an idea where we're going bring these across here like this and bring these across here like this and then bring these across here like this in fact no we're going to have uh, an overhang here which is kind of the end of the L. so there we go that's a nice little shape and then i'm going to do the framework for each of the end bits here that stick out like that there we go so there, that's all the sort of framework done. I'm just finishing putting the floor in here. I'm going to fill in the walls now. I um, think I'm going to use... I used white concrete last time. I might try out the uh, concrete powder this time, see how that looks. Because it's just got a bit more texture to it rather than it just being a solid flat colour. 
might look a little bit more interesting. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks all right for now. We might might change it back. Um, see how I feel when the thing's done. But yeah, so I'm just going to fill these in. And uh, with the walls as well, I put some logs, sort of every other block. Gives it this kind of striped effect. Which again, I think looks really good for this kind of style. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do the roof. So we're going to get some uh, stairs, some dark oak wood and some spruce. So there's the spruce ones. And if we get as dark oak ones too. And again, the roofs, I'm going to keep simple. I'm going to do the same sort of style roof as what I actually did on the inn. And all you do is sort of connect these frames together. So we'll start here with the stairs. Bring it again, just so they have a little overhang. Gives the roof a little bit more depth and keeps it a bit more interesting. Then on the end we're going to use the dark oak ones. Like this. And bring this next layer up across. All you want to do is you want to do it for uh, each of the frames on each side. And then remember to put your upside down ones in as well here. Gives it more shape. So yeah, once we've done that, we'll just get to the top here with the slabs. That's the roof done. So that's looking pretty nice. That's the, spr uh, the structure pretty much done. So we're going to try and focus a bit more on some of the details. I really want a forge here. I've never really built one before. So uh, I think I did one in my really, really old series, actually. But I can't remember quite how I did it. So we're just going to mess about here, try and get something that looks good. I'm not sure what blocks we're going to use just yet. We're going to want a campfire um, for, like, the fire. Some people do use lava as well. So I might give that a try a bit later, we'll see. The thing is with lava, I'm really worried about it burning the upstairs down, with it all being made out of wood. I think you can actually turn fire spreading off. But uh, for now, we'll just stick to the campfires, see what we can come up with. I'm going to put it in one more, just so we have a bit more room, sort of in his workshop area. And fill that in with stone. And I think if we get some stairs as well, we could try and make kind of an interesting design. So maybe if we have this like this, and then a campfire there kind of build up around it like this and the stairs up top like that that looks kind of stupid actually um, maybe if we put the campfire there put these stairs facing like this way and then if we get some slabs that slab should just cover that campfire over actually it doesn't look particularly grand um, I might work on this more off camera actually but uh, it'll do for now so let's see what else we can do here I think I want this little workshop bit to be kind of covered up I'll give him a bit of shelter in case it rains so if we get a stone brick walls build that about three blocks up and I think a little bit of a stone roof over this bit should be pretty interesting make it different from the wood roof as well that should help give a little bit of a uh, bit of contrast to the build. Stop it being too much of the same thing. I think on the end bit, I'm going to put some stone brick stairs. And then I think the rest of the roof will just be cobblestone. It kind of ties in with walls then. Again, a little bit of continuity. But at the same time, it is different to the roof. And that's that actually works out perfectly, doing it with the slabs. I can just tuck under there like that. Yeah, so I like I like that. And then I think we're gonna do the same at the back as well actually, with this little kind of uh, storage area. So again, get stone brick walls. Build these up three blocks. So there we go. I've done that. Just finishing the roof off to that bit, and uh, that's what I've ended up with. Just did that off camera because it was just the same as this front bit and I didn't want to keep it boring. I'm really not too keen on this forge here. Um, maybe we can pretty that up a little bit. We do need an anvil actually. I'm not sure where about to put it. Um, I'll just 
put it maybe at the side for now. I do want it sort of close to the forge because he's going to put his sword or his axe or whatever he's working on. He's going to put that in the forge to eat it up and then obviously it'll go on the anvil for him uh, for him to hammer it. And then we need like a cauldron. Because what they did is after they hammered it, uh, they used to dip it in cold water. And that actually, with some materials, uh, some metals, uh, once you heat it up really warm and then cool it down rapidly, it makes it makes it stronger. So we're just going to do that, put the anvil back in. I kind of preferred it over this area here. So that'll do for now. Again, I might work a little bit more on the detail off camera. Um, let's see, I'm going to put a wood floor in this bottom bit here. This, I think this is going to be an area maybe like where he keeps his tools and stuff. It's just going to be where the staircase is to get upstairs. Speaking of the staircase, we'll put that in now. So I'll get some dark wood. I've already got some dark oak stairs. So if we put the staircase in like this, uh, just fill this in, I think. There's not going to be room for anything back there. Fill that in. And then you should be able to go upstairs. I don't think there's anything blocking it. Put some windows in as well. And then a door. Uh, which... Yeah, put a lantern in while we're here, actually. Just to light the place up. There we go. And then put this door on. I think, actually, I want to make this more of a kind of archway. Uh, maybe use some stone stairs, stone brick stairs. Uh, put some up here. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Do the same on this side. In fact, they're not going to fit up there with a roof and the stairs, so I might just leave it like that. Well, that's fine. Uh, not going to put a window in that wall bit. So if we get ourselves a door. I think I'm going to use the spruce doors, since I'm mostly using spruce. I do actually like the spruce doors, I think they're the most medieval kind of feeling doors. Um, there we go. And then I'm going to need some windows as well. I do like to use the uh, the grey stained, cla uh, stained glass. I think with a stone it kind of ties in, makes it look pretty nice. So there we go. That's that. I'll go upstairs now, fill these windows in, like so. Uh, I don't think I'm going to have these windows too tall. I'm not sure how it looks. Um, let's just have a look from the outside. No, I think they would look better just as being a little one block windows. Yeah, I like that. I do much prefer that. So let's just put these blocks in here at the top of the windows. Couldn't finish the kind of window frame. And that's looking pretty good now. So let's go back inside. I'm really unhappy with this forge. Um, maybe if we put some bricks up here. Kind of make it look like a big chimney or something. Put that back in there. I've got on the inside. And just get rid of these and fill these in with the stone bricks. I think that'll look a bit better for the chimney. Obviously I want the chimney to go up and outside the roof. I'll speed this up really quick. I did a chimney on the, on the inn as well. So you've seen all this sort of stuff before. And uh, it kind of looks a bit stupid I think actually. That might just look better just with the, the one pillar. Yeah, that looks better. So yeah, it still looks alright. I don't want to focus too much on the same thing. So I might just do that later. So here we go, we're going to do the interior here. And on the ceilings, it's kind of something that really bothers me. So I'm just going to quickly put all these upside down stairs up inside. Should make the roof just look a little bit, well, the ceiling look a little bit nicer from the inside. Um, put this lantern up there in the middle. There we go. Let's fill some of these corners in. 
Then we're going to have a wall here. This is where his little bedroom is going to be. Like this. It just sort of separates the two rooms off from each other then. Uh, I'm using the stone brick. Again, it just gives a bit of continuity on the inside since we've got the stone bricks on the kind of little hallway bit we've got going on. And then um, we need a door. I'm going to use some of these trap doors as well. Um, just to put on here. Kind of like a little banister for the stairs. And uh, I do like using trap doors. I think I mentioned this before. They kind of save a little bit of space. And I'm actually going to put this one just on the inside of this block. So we can still use that block there. Uh, we can still place stuff on it. So yeah, that's looking really good so far. Let's get ourselves a door, like we said. And again, using sticking with the spruce doors. And maybe some decoration blocks. I'm going to need a bed, since it is the bedroom. And put that in there. And the bed. And put a lantern in. I think the bed is going to go... Maybe here in the corner like this. Let's see what else we've got. With decoration, it's kind of trial and error. I think I mentioned this before about when you're doing the interiors, it's just kind of putting stuff in, seeing if it looks good. If you don't like it, take stuff out, try again. Yeah, this bookcase is a bit... Because it's such a small room, I think it's just a bit too much. So I'll get rid of that. Um, maybe have a bedside bookcase. That might look good. Uh, I don't want a chest in here as well, kind of like a chest of drawers. I might have his clothes and various other things in. So let's bang that in there. Uh, and flower pot. Uh, we're using these white tulips because this is going to be kind of a theme within this uh, within this little village building. Uh, the white rose is actually the symbol of Yorkshire, so that's a little paying a bit of a tribute from my homeland there. So yeah, there we go. And uh, I think in the sort of grassy bits as well, round near this town, I'm going to have lots of kind of fields and stuff where there's going to be various white roses uh, growing. Now, th these pictures really annoy me. On Minecraft, the proper proper annoy me. I just want the one just in the middle there, uh, so we have to get rid of those just to put it in. It is kind of irritating, is that they used to just be completely random. So sometimes you get a a one by one painting, sometimes you get a two by two, sometimes you get a one by two. But I think what the mechanic seems to be now, they just seem to fill up as much space as they can. I'm going to have a little bit of a kitchen area here, I think. So uh, I'm going to want maybe a furnace there. Um, furnace. So that's like his, his oven where he's going to cook stuff. I'll just put that in there. And uh, what would be cool as well is maybe... Uh, we need something to make it look like a chimney. So maybe if we go into those decoration blocks, get a wall. Kind of looks like a pipe coming out that leads to the chimney. That could be pretty cool. And we actually have a bit of extra space up here. So that can be like as kitchen worktops. Um, yeah, that kind of, it's kind of a gap there. But that's okay. We've kind of got as kitchen worktops there. That looks pretty cool. And I want a bit of a living area over here. So it's going to be like tables and chairs. And there we go. And then some posts on the side. I do really like these scaffolding. Uh, they're good for tables. I think it's the closest thing in Minecraft you can really get for a table. This is where you can sit and eat. I'm going to put these on. Uh, I don't know why that one just broke. There we go. And I want kind of something up against this window here. Uh, I'm not sure what else they'd need. Maybe some barrels. That could look good. Uh, maybe some flowers. 
Yeah, we'll just put a barrel in for now. Maybe a couple of barrels. Uh, kind of stacked on top of each other. Maybe it can be... I don't know, maybe it can be some barrels of beer, something like that. I mean, if this town is going to kind of resemble Yorkshire, there's going to be plenty of beer. <laughs> plenty of alcohol about. Um, I'm not sure what else we can really put in here. I don't want the, it to be too kind of... It's mainly just brown uh, and a bit of grey, so I want to try and add a bit of colour to the inside here. Um, maybe we could have a bookcase up against here. That could look good. They're pretty colourful blocks. Um, let's see. Uh, maybe get rid of that. That could that could work all right for us. Put some trapdoors on top. I think that looks okay. And um, what else can we do? So maybe maybe if we put a carpet down. Could do with some plants in here as well. I think that might help um, just make the place look a bit more interesting. I think I want like a little tree plant. There is a block called a composter that I think could look really good as like a, a big plant pot as opposed to the, the little ones. Or we could use a, a cauldron that could work. But again, it's a bit too grey. Um, let's see. Yeah, it doesn't really fit in. I'm not too sure about that. Um, even though there is a lot of brown, it is kind of... It does make sense. Let's try the composter. I'm not exactly sure where it's kept. I would have thought it would be in decoration blocks. Um, but it doesn't seem to be here. You can always search for it, I suppose. I would like to know where it is. Let's just search for it. Uh, composter. So there we go. Ah, so it's under miscellaneous. That's good to know. And, uh, yeah, so if we put that in... Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. And it is a kind of different shade of brown as well. So that's not too much of a problem. And I think if we just put another one of us white roses in the corner, that should look pretty nice. So if we get one of our small plant pots, get us white. Well, it's actually called a white tulip, but uh, it's a white rose. Don't let anyone tell you any different. So yeah, there we go, flower pot. Uh, just put that over here, I think. Oh, you got to shift click because it is a barrel. There we go. A bit, bit more green in now. Looking a bit more colourful. I think a carpet would really help. Like maybe a rug. So I'm going to go with light blue. That's what we used in the inn as well, so it's a bit of continuity from that. Uh, now those signposts are probably not going to let me put a carpet in. We can put a little carpet like that. Like I say, it's just a rug, so maybe that looks okay. Um, and I think that will pretty much do for the interior. Now we have got this little bit of downstairs here. But I'm just going to fill this up with kind of like, uh, yeah, crafting tables, chests, barrels, kind of like storage stuff. Maybe this is where he keeps his tools, um, some of the smaller storage items, because we do have that kind of big area at the back that's like a storage area. So this, like I say, it's just going to be for his tools and his little bits and bats. Um, that should do. So yeah, that's this bottom room pretty much done. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm adding some barrels on the outside with bits of black carpet. Maybe these are like big barrels full of coal that he's going to use. Um, it does actually look quite like coal does the carpet so that's pretty helpful. Um, maybe some of it's over here. Yeah, you've got to play some up like that, haven't you? Yep, so maybe some of it's up like that. I added some iron ore there as well. That looks pretty cool. Maybe some of it's fallen on the floor. Kind of barrels overflowing with coal, which is going to need a lot of to smelt. 
Elion and do his uh, various blacksmithing kind of things. So I just want to add some detail onto these outer walls now. Try and make it a little bit more interesting rather than just having a flat wall. Uh, so you want your stairs. Um, kind of walls and fences are always good. I'm going to keep it pretty similar to what I've done before, I think. So if we put the stairs up here like this, maybe some on the floor as well could look pretty good. And then like a little bit, bit of a column holding up that. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And then if we go around this side and do the same. It's kind of a, just a 3x3 three three space and you're not going to be able to put windows in these bits. So maybe that looks pretty good here. I've got a lot of a bigger kind of wall here. Um, maybe put stone blocks on these uh, stone pillars. Uh, stone stairs on those stone pillars, sorry. Then maybe a little thing there holding that up. Uh, you know what, I'm not too keen on that. Maybe a fence might look a bit better. But that just looks really thin. Uh, wall and a stair. That looks alright. Um, that'll do for now. So let's put these stairs down here as well. Then I think we need some... We need some greenery, don't we? Um, I haven't got any flower pots. So let's just put these in. And put the strap doors on. And I might put some of these around the other side, actually. I forgot about doing these. You can see the dirt from the side, but that's that's not a massive problem. Again, with those white tulips and maybe a fern. Try a fern. That could look good. Um, yeah, just stick with two white tulips. I really like that, how they don't both just place in the centre of the block. I think that gives it a bit more interest. Maybe put some of these over here. Bit of a kind of... I don't know, maybe shelter. Uh, can put another thing on there. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I quite like that. And then maybe these pillars just at either side of a window. I'll get rid of that, but not that. And then, yep, yeah, put his fence posts in. And what we can do as well is if we get some cobblestone stairs. Uh, where are they? There we go. If we just get some of these and put these in the window, that gives the window a little bit more depth as well. So yeah, that looks pretty cool. And uh, this side obviously is just the storage area, this has been done. And yeah, I think that's pretty much our blacksmith done. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Um, subscribe, because I will be posting more kind of builds that I've been uh, working on. And uh, If you did like the video, hit the like button, or let me know. Yeah, there we go. Uh, so thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.